So hi everybody and uh, today is an introduction to github. This video is all about uh, a tutorial for beginners uh, highlighting the importance of github and whether it is really important or required for your jobs and internships and what are the benefits and significance of github. So um, a special thanks to Abhishek. Uh, Abhishek reached me out at Instagram and suggested me that this video is really in demand and I should come up with such a video and if it is accepted well i can make a series of git okay thank you abhishek if you're watching this again thank you okay so now sh we shall just uh, start with okay what is uh, github now, what is github uh, now this is a uh, wikipedia this thing i have picked up that it provides uh, internet hosting for software development and version control so to put it simply it is just um, you know a platform where you can host your open source projects and it is also used for, you know, uh, uh, I mean, you can use it for free and even for paid versions. If you're using it for free, then you can use it for your open source projects and different people can contribute on, in your project. It is great for programmers and collaborators. Now, um, moving forward, I would also want you to take you to the important term of Git that is repository. What does this mean? Now, this simply means a collection, you know, where you can store certain things. So, this is its main purpose of a repository. It is to store a set of files. Now, this file could be your coding file or you are uploading a tutorial or a documentation. Any kind of a file, you know, you just store it in a place. That is a repository. And Git provides you with that repository, okay. And it also stores a history of changes made to those files. If suppose somebody makes a commit or you know make some changes to your file it stores those changes those changes and also who has done those changes all right so that gives you a kind of a version control which we will discuss in coming slides now i'm coming to like uh, a fact which i just found out on the wikipedia it's like git has become one of the largest host of source code in the world and now there are 56 million users here in the git worldwide and nearly more than 190 you know repositories so you can just just imagine the reach and the people the individuals and uh, you know the collaborators using git so it is uh, this this figure just simply highlights its importance all right so moving on is um, how is it useful for beginners now coming to the main question now this is a place where you can showcase your projects the work you've done okay and the companies can easily see what kind of uh, you know coding skills you have how, what you have used why you have applied it do you explain it are you systematic and are you doing it uh, you know in a structured manner what they want so this really highlights your work your analytical skills and how do you really approach a uh, coding problem you can collaborate on various projects pardon me for this mistake you can share the code easily that means you can collaborate and also you can make changes you can make any amendments to the source code without affecting the source code or the original copy and also you get the global presence that means uh, people around the world can really have access to your code get benefited from it and if they want to contribute something they can really do that okay moving forward now uh, i want to highlight certain importance you know benefit of using github why should you use github and why is it really important so it is like first of all the repository which i have told that this public repository it 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 helps you know to get a wide exposure many people can access around the world the work you've done and they can just copy paste your code or they can they can make changes they can add subtract modify without affecting your original files so in a way you're getting value addition to your code another thing is contribute you can easily contribute again by by making your code available or adding a few things or comments and if if the owner accepts it then it is an addition to that right this is how open source code is really growing because of the community collaboration because of the community's participation and active actively they are contributing towards this that's why that's why this uh, github has become the one of the largest hosting platforms okay now coming to this and another one is the documentation you know you have any problem just go to the help section and explore any topic you the need the help would be there the excellent documentation is there for the github 
Now, another benefit are integration. This GitHub can be easily integrated with common platforms like Amazon, Google Cloud. Okay, you can easily integrate so it becomes easier to operate with GitHub. You've got a support of over 200 different programming languages in GitHub. Okay, so this is really good. And Markdown. This is really nice because you can simply use a simple, this is a simple text editor wherein you can use any language, upload it on GitHub and you don't have to learn another system, you know, to upload your things or files in, on GitHub. So, so Markdown is a great, great uh, thing which I can say is a benefit of using this GitHub. Okay. Now moving on to, is GitHub really required to get a job or an internship? All right. Now moving forward, I would say that yes and no. Okay. Now why am I saying a yes? Because, you know, companies who are using Git will really prefer candidates who have gotten hands-on experience or knowledge of GitHub. And, you know, because it becomes easier for them to, their, their training time and their energy is, is really being saved if you, if you are a candidate who know the knowledge of GitHub and you can simply go straight away and start working on the project and collaborate with your colleagues, share your code and, and things like that. So, uh, you can contribute on projects and this shows that how active you are with your GitHub profile if you're maintaining. Then company can really get an idea of you can uh, you can be an uh, value, you can be an asset to their organization. Okay, and why am I saying that no, it is not required or it is not really necessary because many companies are fine with it if you even if you're not having so many projects in your GitHub. But uh, you know gradually they feel that okay even if they don't have they could be upgraded and gradually they learn on how to work on github if need arises all right so now the final take if i want to give you is that uh, git provides access you know to a number of collaboration features like version control now this version control as i told you that it allows developers to keep a track of the revisions to their code and also the task management, you can manage your task very efficiently with Git. You can handle the code and the files. So this Git really is, now I have, I have here separated the term, the Git and the Hub. So Git is providing you all these functionalities and Hub is that a community is coming of like-minded individuals. They are coming together to make all these things possible, okay. The community of like-minded individuals coming together to make Git a success with the help of version control, task management, and handling the codes and the files. This is what GitHub is all about. Okay. So, another thing which I want to really add from my side is that it is good to have a, a Git account because there's nothing wrong in showcasing your, your projects, your work. So, go ahead, create a GitHub account, Your uh, start uploading your projects and files in that. And if you've got any questions rel related to that, then let me know. Uh, my Insta handle is Machine Mantra. And you can mail me at ps.machinemantra at the gmail.com. Also, you can comment in the comment section regarding anything you need further from my side. Uh, but yes, I will be he I will keep on adding a few important videos on demand. This was an on-demand video by Abhishek. And also um, another thing is I had in mind was Kaggle. So if you want people, if you want uh, anything I should upload for Kaggle introductory video, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, so that's it for this video. And thanks for watching.